the road to recovery from depression that led John to enjoy this Boston area bike path has been long. Diagnosed with depression just after college, he spent years trying various therapies, including medications, but with no long-term success. When it first hit me, it was as bad as it could get. I mean, it, um, it's like a ton of bricks hit, hits you and, you know, you lose all, you lose yourself. You lose your sense of feeling. Um, everything you like to do just out the window. You don't feel any want to do the things you used to do. John says he read plenty of books about depression, then learned about an innovative therapy called TMS. TMS stands for transcranial magnetic stimulation. What that means is we can actually stimulate the brain using a very powerful magnet. Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston is one of the leaders in TMS therapy. Their experts conducted the first clinical trial of TMS for depression and many subsequent studies to improve the effectiveness of the therapy for severe depression. Now, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the use of the NeuroStar TMS therapy system for patients with medication-resistant depression. We have a very powerful magnetic field that we can turn on and off very quickly with a device called a TMS machine. And that creates a small electrical current on the surface of the brain. Not enough to injure the brain in any way, but enough to stimulate it in a very focal way, and that means in a very specific brain area. The magnet stimulates the part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex, the front part which appears to play a role in depression. So basically what you could think of it as is stimulating a part of the brain that's underactive in people who are depressed. Treatments are administered in 40-minute sessions daily over a period of three to four weeks. For John, it has been a life changer. You just sit and it feels like, you know, you're just getting quick taps to the head, like like that. It's just like a haircut. I could say TMS, I'm the closest to what I was before depression than with anything, with medication, with, um, you know, any other treatment I saw. I don't think there's any treatment that works for everyone. What we found here at our center and at other centers across the country is that a little bit over half of the people will get significantly better and maybe a quarter of people will have a complete remission. They'll go back to feeling no depressive symptoms at all. Research does show that TMS can have side effects, including a small risk of seizure. That's why it's critical to seek out experienced specialists when opting for this treatment. We've been doing TMS uh, both in a research way and in a clinical way for over eight years now, which makes us the, the longest continuous center for TMS in the Northeast, far and away. In fact, uh, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center has a training program to teach others how to do TMS. We train other physicians and other researchers in it. And we're also trying to push the frontiers in terms of making TMS more effective for the treatment of depression. John credits TMS with putting him on a better path in life, allowing him to do the things he wants to do, like biking. It's as close to flying as you can get without actually, you know, flying. <laughs> you go fast enough. It's just fun. You know, that's another thing, fun. <laughs> um, treatment gives you that sense of fun back.